Around 600 million years ago, just before the beginning of what scientists call the Cambrian period, something extraordinary happened. Multicellular animals suddenly exploded in diversity and abundance. This event marks the dawn of the age of visible life. Many believe the dramatic changes in the Earth's environment, including the greatest ice age in all the Earth's history, may have forced living things to adapt quickly in order to survive. This may have led to rapid and major changes in the genes that provide instructions for building organisms. And as they adapted, organisms developed modifications, which they passed on to their descendants. Evolution, the process by which organisms adapt to meet the challenges of their changing environments and pass on those changes genetically to successive generations. Evolution is also the story of the environments themselves being changed by living things. Life in the Cambrian seas included animals such as trilobites, extinct relatives of lobsters and horseshoe crabs that went on to dominate Paleozoic seas, but included others that faded into insignificance after the Cambrian period. 50 million years after the beginning of the Cambrian, in the Ordovician period, evolution accelerated again. New life forms rapidly evolved in the ocean. This phenomenon is called the Ordovician radiations, and it established the pattern of life in the seas for the next quarter billion years. These new creatures included corals in many forms, crinoids, stalked relatives of starfish, more kinds of trilobites, brachiopods, two-shelled, clam-like animals, nautiloids, hard-shelled relatives of squids, and some creatures developed backbones. These earliest vertebrates were small and jawless fish. Many had external skeletons of bone. Around 420 million years ago, the Earth's climate changed. Glaciers covered the South Pole, and many creatures failed to adapt to these new conditions. And so in a relatively short time, they disappeared forever. It was one of Earth's first mass extinctions. After the Ordovician Ice Age, life rebounded. During the Silurian period, all kinds of marine life sprang up in the Earth's shallow seas. Trilobites, corals, brachiopods and crinoids, and more kinds of fish, some of which developed a startling innovation, jaws. Sea scorpions or eurypterids, including one of the largest animals in the Silurian world, the gigantic predatory creature known as pterygotus, which reached lengths of more than seven feet. Eurypterids like this one thrived in the warm ocean waters that covered what is now New York State. The spot where you are now standing was then the equator, before the movement of the Earth's plates pushed it north. The evaporation of the shallow, salty sea that bathed Ithaca left behind vast deposits of salt. Mined here on the shore of Cayuga Lake to this day, in one of the deepest salt mines in the world. On land, which was bare of life to begin with, incredible change took place. By the end of the Silurian, small plants and insect-like creatures, resembling today's silverfish, had evolved and were living on the shores. As the Earth's continents continued to pull apart, new ocean basins formed and sea levels rose and fell. In eastern North America, about 400 million years ago, the continents that would someday be Europe and North America were moving toward each other. The eventual collision of these two continents formed what we know as the Appalachian Mountains. The folding and faulting of the Earth's crust over hundreds of millions of years, the ever-changing sizes and positions of continents, and the rising and lowering of sea levels 
made icehouse climates give way to greenhouse climates, eventually melting into the warm, watery world that would become the age of fishes, the Devonian world. 